friends, how are you doing today? I hope you always be fine and enjoying a very good, happy December. My name is Umar and you are watching a fresh new episode of Visa Guru once again. First portal, first ever portal on YouTube to provide you free consultancy without any charges through comments and emails. And it's all possible just due to your support, friends. And uh, friends, uh, yesterday we talked about some excellent uh, opportunities and options to study a PhD program in in Denmark so I told you that I'll be uh, also telling you some important notes and important points how to get a PhD in, in Denmark so it's it's very easy to say that one can study in Germany in Denmark in Canada but the main thing is the opportunities or all the things that you need to find for example a scholarship program or uh, a type of uh, you can say um, PhD program or a master's degree. So today I will tell you guys how to find a PhD scholarship program in Denmark Though there are a lot of ways to find it For example, you can directly contact the universities. There are lots of universities. You can search the universities on on the websites on, on Google that list of uh, universities in Denmark that can then you can find the programs online because these websites have a version of uh, English too, so you can choose a university you can check out the programs they are offering to the international students then you can write them an email you can find a way to call them then you can contact them so these are some of the ways but today I will tell you a very unique way and that will surely be helping you it will save you time and money and you will be able to find a PhD program in Denmark in 2018 so don't delay that we have got very short time left for summer semester guys so let's start it so my dear friends for this you will be writing a um, study PhD in Denmark at Google and then you will open uh, this 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 first website so that you can find some options for PhD for you guys so first of all if you look around uh, the the information so from the left corner from the left um, uh, menu you can choose PhD and research and once you choose that you will come across a lot of information so this is PhD and research so here's written all the information that you need in order to apply for a PhD program in order to search and the requirements are also over there so that you can easily read it and uh, decide if you can uh, uh, apply for a PhD in, in Denmark so friends uh, uh, in Denmark the PhD has independent research under supervision the courses of PhD students are uh, are of approximately 30 ECTS credits and uh, then if you want to get more information about the admission requirements and the financing your scholarships here you can find one so normally you must have uh, a, an equivalent degree from from your country of origin to to uh, a two years candidate uh, master degree in, in Denmark so uh, in some areas a four-year PhD program is, is offered to students who have completed a bachelor degree as well as uh, one year of uh, study at postgraduate level so if you talk about Denmark it, the things are a bit different so if you have uh, an equivalent qualification to graduation uh, of Denmark so then you can also apply a four years uh, of a PhD program because then you'll be having uh, two years of master and then further two years for PhD so this is uh, more beneficial for you I think so if you can just start uh, applying for the both of the uh, levels uh, combined and then uh, you must you must think that it's, it's not only in Denmark but in all over the world it the PhD uh, uh, position to 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 get it all over the world in Germany in USA in Canada and Denmark is very competitive so you need to be well prepared for that so financing and scholarship information is also over there so here's uh, all the information how you can finance uh, your scholarship whether it will be um, paid uh, with a salary or with uh, an associated organization or it will be self-funded so self-funded can cost you around 10,000 to 60,000 euros per per year so that's a lot of money so the best thing is that you need to find a scholarship for you so that will be more uh, uh, helpful for you guys so if you want to find a um, list of available scholarships uh, um, and PhD positions in Denmark so here is a link a list of available PhD positions you can open this here you can find uh, the list of uh, universities who are offering different types of courses 
uh, for PhD. For example, Alborg University is offering in engineering and sciences, humanities and social sciences. So here are uh, available positions. Uh, next one is friends, uh, the Aarhus uh, University. This is a very famous one in, in Denmark. So here you have the faculties of humanities, health sciences, sciences, social sciences, theology, agricultural sciences, a lot of information here. Same uh, as the last one, you can open here the, the information about PhD positions. So next one is Copenhagen School, Copenhagen Business School. So here you can also find uh, information for you if you have got interest in business administration and modern languages. Uh, through You can choose here different routes of uh, PhD. So here you go, PhD programs. So here you see that you have got uh, a list of, uh, uh, for example, uh, courses that are available for, for PhD. You can read it one by one and then um, you can choose for one, whatever is best for you. So here's the admission detail and um, you can see here by clicking the left tab, application process is over here. Uh, you, you may need to send them uh, for the doctoral uh, program. You may need to send them uh, copies of your diplomas, transcripts, here's written all the information, your curriculum vitae, list of uh, written works, sample of written work, and a brief project description, all, all the things. And then all the information is here. You can find this one, friends. Then PhD courses are here, the list of courses, the previous courses. So it's all the information you can find it from here. So furthermore, if we go back to the main website, friends, you will see here the IT University of Copenhagen, and then uh, Roskilde University, Technical University of Denmark, University of Copenhagen, University of Southern Denmark, and Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts, School of Architecture. So you have got a lot of information, my friend. So if you want to apply for PhD positions in Denmark, you can open this website. You can find the best places here. Are always uh, updated uh, list of universities and the courses they are offering. So here you go, you can straight away find uh, almost 10 universities who are offering different courses in, in, in social sciences, in sciences, in, in environmental studies, uh, in theology, in business administration, in modern languages, in science, in technology. You've got all mixed options that you want to choose from. So it's up to you what the options are. What options are, it's up to you, what options are suitable for you guys. So here you get all the information, the requirements, and if it's possible for you to get uh, uh, the scholarship uh, for your PhD program or a salary as a full-time worker with the university or with an associated organization. I hope friends you have understood all the information. If you have got more questions, you can write me down in the comment box. I'll be always more than happy to assist you guys. If you've liked the video, please uh, thumbs up and um, share it with your friends so that all the guys can get information about study in Denmark with scholarship and the PhD program. So thanks a lot for your time, guys. Uh, we'll see us uh, in the next video if you have subscribed the channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.